are cut on guys and getting cut off. He's a small one. Oops. <laughs> Y'all were short changed one of them. I went to pitch him back and I was like six inches too short and he hit the side of the boat. Dang. Hard on crappy, wasn't I? All right, guys. This is a cricket color. I don't know what it is. I, I think it's rainbow and it was left over and I put a shot of blue in it. All right. I'll do that, guys. I play with colors. Y'all know how I've, I've said that. I, <laughs> see there? And it caught a fish. But that's how I come up with all these new colors. I just don't go home, make some, go bam, there you go. I play with them. Then I go out and fish with them. Taking y'all along today. All right? And if, I'll tell you the second thing I'm doing. Hold on, I'm looking now. Let me tell you the second thing I'm doing. I started way up there. And I've come down through here to out of the long. If I seen a dock that was look like it was deep enough water, I stopped and check it. I found two docks up with crappie on them that would not bite me. They would run from the bait. They would move out of the way of it. Finally, when the whole school left the dock after about six casts at them, they left. <laughs> I told you I've seen that before. They just come out, come out underneath the boat. I never seen them again. There was about six that stayed there and, uh, and they was on the corner corners like this. I threw at them four or five times, they disappeared. I got looking again, they was clean at the back. So I reckon they were trying to say, we're not interested, leave us alone. <laughs> All right guys, they're hard to get here. There's a brace on the front of the dock. Yeah, that's a nice one. He was that big, I wouldn't have picked him up. Then I looked that big back on the live scope. Now, he's not a monster, don't get me wrong. I thought he's all babies. He's probably 10 inches. Nine and seven, nine and uh, nine sixteenths to nine eleven sixteenths, probably in that area. Uh, still using this cricket. Y'all know I got a different color head. I just want to see if it'd bite orange. No, I done got hung up and lost that one. This thing has, this dock has, see it's in deep water, guys. It's on a rock bluff. See that rock bluff? So a lot of these docks around here, they put all these braces on. It's got braces going this way, across the front. Then he filled in the boat slip back here. That's what makes it good. And then he put a little, it's a little piece of trash uh, in this right corner. What I got to do to get bit is I've got to skip up under that dock. I got It's only what you see. The water's hitting it every once in a while. Three inches. I got to go up under that. All right. That that's what I got to do to get bit. I'll go back up about five foot past that front lip right there. And I got to reel it in because it's, it's a brace on it. I can't I can't reel it all the way up. If I catch a fish, I got to bring it on in. All right. So this is I'm tangled up. This is not an easy place to fish, okay? Back through there like that. Give some lines that fall straight. If you don't give it line, guys, it'll swing back to you. You gotta give it, I see them moving. I still don't see my bait, all right? I see them moving. I can't, guys, you can't see your bait all the time. You can see your bait sometimes. You get the right angle. You can see it. There's a lot of fish back in there right now. It's a lot of sun perch. <laughs> I just have to figure out what's, what's dot, green dot's mine, right? He's a baby, he's about eight inches. I'll show you what I'm talking about. See, there's a lot of green back in there, plus all the flickering green on the post. It's a busy area. And when it's that busy, we cut, we, cut the, we cut the sensitivity back a little bit. That'll help some. But you can see, there's, see all these spots? I have to figure out which one's mine. <laughs> That's why it's so tough. But anyway, there you go. Now, guys, I mentioned earlier when I make, oh, whoo, Guinness, you're getting good today. I've had plenty of practice, guys. It's uh, 10 o'clock. I've been skipping docks since uh, 7 o'clock, so. <laughs> I've had a lot of practice skipping docks today. But uh, a lot of times I beat those boards to pieces when I got bigger openings than that. I can have a foot opening and I'm hitting the dock. Oh, lost him. Had a bite. But that's, that's what I'm doing. Keeping y'all alive here a second. I'm talking to y'all about rods, and I cut the camera off, and bam. I might not even put that in. I film stuff sometimes, guys, and y'all probably going like, he just said something like this, and I, I didn't see him do that. You know why? When I made it, and I go like, I can't put that in there. The video's going to be 20 minutes long. It's going to be 30 minutes long. I can't put that in there. All right, guys. I said I'm using the orange head because that's crooked because uh, I done broke off. I don't think I done broke off five times this morning. And I just grabbed this orange because I got plenty of them. I bought a whole pack of 25 back in the winter time when the water was nasty. But I'm telling you what I'm learning about the orange head too, I'll share something with you. Our water's decent now. It's got a little color to it because we had this big rain 
uh, Thursday, it rained all day and it's been into Thursday night, pour down. You can see why our water's not pretty clear anymore. It's just got a light stain. Visibility's probably two foot now. It was like four. Darn, just working. It worked in the clear water. All right, guys, if I can get it back under that dock, I usually can get bit. But they catch it on to me a little bit now. They're getting a little harder to catch. There you go. They're getting a little harder to catch. And then once I hook one, I got to get him moving because this dock's got a brace on it. That's a nice one there, guys. He's not a monster, but he's a nice one. A monster, guys, is 12 inches and over. <laughs> Somebody going like, what's a monster, Des? I know what you're thinking. I call a monster 12 inches over 12. And you get your crappy 12 inches and bigger. That's a nice crappy, isn't it? I was watching Flappin' Crappy just the other night. And he was catching 11 and a half, and he said that was big for he, where he's fishing. Yeah, it's going to change for wherever you're fishing, right? He's, that, and there's 10, 10 and a half. Yeah, it's going to change to wherever you're fishing. On this lake, uh, I know a lot of guys are catching 10 inches and go, I'm caught a bunch of 10, so 10 inches is just the average fish. They got to be 10 inches on a lot of lakes to keep them. We don't have a size limit here, but uh, I'm going to come back to the side here. Uh, there's, a lot of ten, there's a lot of 8 to 10 inch fish in this lake, guys. And as you get to about 12 inches, there's fewer of them. That's why I say... 12 inches and up is nice, really a nice fish, I think, on this lake. Wow, hope he's big as he acts like he is. The guys, again, I got four pound line and I got losing light action rods. I just don't pick them up and throw them around. Uh, just like that. See what happened? Look here. That's why I don't pick them up and throw them around, too. You, I can't hold them up here and show them to y'all if, if they get off. But you're going to lose the boat. I'm going to tell you what, I have no control today. The wind's just, so keep, the boat keeps on flipping around getting where I want to fish. That's a nice fish, guys. Now look, so y'all see that purple tent there? Can y'all see that? See that purple shining through his fins right there? I'm saying, I was talking about a sun perch, trying to match the color of a sun perch. Even this fish, you see the dark green on his back? How it fades into that little purple once in a while. It's a pretty fish. He's about 11. All right, guys, they quit on me here. They wouldn't pay attention to that cricket. So you know what I've done? Some of you are, some of you are going, exactly. No, exactly. <laughs> guys, I'm toying with you. Toying with you. Been trying to add a little extra humor here and there. Some of y'all probably think I'm being stupid, and that's what I reckon I am doing, being stupid. He's about 10 inches. I switched to the bug, and this is a blue boy. The bug and blue boy. Uh, if you're fishing a pile of crappie, okay, if you're fishing a spot and the crappie stop on you, again, I got uh, twisted a twitch to it. Okay, guys, my battery died on me when I was talking to you about this rod, so let me start over. Uh, people ask me all the time about this rod because they're $20. They're like $16 to $17 actually. It's under $20 at Walmart. They're a good rod for this, if you're just crappy fishing, you're bank fishing, you're using a cork. But if you're trying to skip under a dock or you, if you're trying to throw at a precise thing like a stump or something, they're not as good. I can tell you when I'm trying to skip with this rod, I don't skip as good with it as I can this Dinelli. But that Dinelli is $50, okay? I think it's like $49.95, something like that, at most space shops. And uh, my favorite one is this Fenwick rod right here, and it runs about, oh, it's in the 50s too. But I can tell you, I can tell the difference in them, okay? When I, when I get down here like this, and I'm th I am want to throw it to that second dock like that, and I can throw, see, so I didn't even make it to the dock. That's, that's what I'm telling you, it's a difference in the feel. See, so I'm too high that time. I cannot skip as well with this rod. Now, if I put a heavy weight, real heavy weight on it, I can't. But a 132nd, that's what I got here now? No. And I've got four pound on it. That's why usually I run two pound test on this rod. I can put two pound test on it and it's much better, okay? But it's, it's just, it's, it's the rod. And here's why. I said this, I'm trying to make it as fast as I can. I, I've seen this one time, guys, in a video somewhere years ago. They claim a real expensive rod, they put it down like this and they spin it. And they watch the bow and the rod, and they put the eyes 
on the right side. So if you don't put the eyes on the right side of the rod, uh, it won't cast accurate. It won't cast where you're looking and all that kind of stuff. And that's what these cheap rods do. They don't spend that time in a cheaper rod. They just got people there putting the eyes on them going on. All that makes a difference, okay? Uh, and it, it's not a real quality blank. Can you, you know, what are you getting for under $20, right? So if you want a good rod that you can really cast with, pin, pinpoint, shoot with, and all that kind of stuff, uh, you're probably better off buying you a better rod. Uh, ACC Crappy Stick would be a good one if it comes to mind, or the Lose. I got the Lose rod right here. That's a good rod. It's $50 too, though, but it's a good rod. If you, really, if you ain't going to buy but like two rods just to crap your fish with, go ahead and get you two of those Lou's or, or two of these Dinelli's. They're seven footers, guys. This is a seven foot also. You'll be okay with it. A lot of people are buying the five and five and a half footers. That's fine. I don't like a short rod because see, along the rod, I can get down like this and skip better because I can get my rod closer to the water, right? Because you skip rocks, you bend over and get it closer to the water, right? Seven foot rod, I can automatically do that. And I still need to bend over it sometimes to get under a dock. All right, hope that helps you. If you're just fishing, they're fine. For $20, they're a good rod for $20. You know, I mean, less than $20 is all you got in it. They're fine. But if you want to upgrade, go on up to the Denali or the Lose. I might get this one in. I lost the last one. I don't know if y'all going to see that or not. <laughs> I lost him at the boat. I'll show y'all me, show show me losing a fish once in a while. Nice bite 10 inches. Guys, this cricket's working pretty good. Like I said, this is not Blue Boy. This is a rainbow. So you got the purple flake and stuff in it. And I think I just put a little touch of blue in it. Uh, so it's got all the colors of the rainbow, like the rainbow one does, with a touch of blue. And it's working. Catching fish on it today. Oops. Like I said, I had a little bit left over and I thought, let's try something. Getting on the docks, the toughest part. That's what I said. This is my this is my best skipping rod. It's a six and a half. That one and the the Danelli. I'd rather skip with that than with any, <clears throat> anything. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to get something to drink, guys. I ain't had any water for a while. I got dry. Get ready to go in. This is my last place right here. It's almost 11 o'clock. Ski boats. It is 11 o'clock now. Ski boats are done started. Ah, had a bite. I messed him. I messed him. He was, uh, he had it and was moving it, and I just messed him. This is a, one of the toughest docks I fish right here to get underneath of. They got these boat things, which is nice if you got a boat here. It's close to the water anyway because they got that step down. This is the cricket I was using today, guys. It's a real, real light blue. Uh, it's got a oodles of color in it. I don't remember how I made it, but I think I had a little bit of a rainbow left over that gave me the idea, and I went on and made it with that and put some blue in it. It worked just fine, okay? Caught fish on, had a good morning. Fish till the traffic got bad. Could have caught more guys. I don't know how many I caught today. I made two videos this morning. I caught about 35. Finding big fish now is tough, though. 14, 15 inches is tough. I did catch a 15 inch last weekend, but they're getting tough to find. Guys, before I leave you, I want to talk to you about a new idea my son and I have. It's called Fishing Lake Country Super Pack. It's going to be three packs of baits uh, each month that you can go in there and buy for $10. And it'll be one bag off of the site, like Blue Boy, which is real popular color, Sunrise, something like that. And it'll be a new color like this, like I fished with today. It's not on the site. You can't buy this one or this color. This is a light purple I fished with today and caught fish on. Caught a lot of fish on this one today. So you can't buy on the site, okay? Each month, I'll come up with two new colors to go along with one color off the site. So that puts me making baits every month, right? And I'll have it loaded. By the first of the month, you can get it. Now, we're probably going to start off with 25 packs. When the 25 are sold, we're done. If they all sell out, the next month we'll go to 50 packs, okay? Our goal is 100. So once we get to where we're selling 100 packs a month, see what I'm saying? Uh, but you'll get three bags for $10. That's saving you $2, and you're getting colors that nobody else has. You'll get two, two colors nobody else has. All right, guys, appreciate you. Fishing Lake Country, Dennis. See ya.